good, YouTube. Just, just heading over to my girlfriend's house in St. Paul. We might go get something to eat at Sakana. The one in St. Paul, if you guys are from Minnesota, got a Groupon for it. $20 to get 40 bucks, not bad. Hope it doesn't rain, it's pretty cloudy. That would just suck. I don't know, which way should I take today? 94 or 694? Pick 94, it's a little bit more scenic. For my viewers. For all 200 subscribers. Just another fan. Something about being on a bike, people just wave at you. I think everyone deep down inside wants to at least experience it or know how it feels to be on a bike. It feels weird. I'm not wearing my boots today. Just got on some shoes. I could probably have a whole compilation of people just waving at me while I'm riding. It's a nice cool day. Either way I take 94 or 694, there's gonna be some construction. It's about seven o'clock, so traffic has died down. Even though I just had four tacos from Taco Bells, two hard shells and two soft shells. I could probably eat some more still. So. I'm a fatty. It's all right. I gotta keep up this physique of mine. Maintain this belly. I don't know if it was a good idea to take my bike. It looks like it's gonna rain. A little rain doesn't hurt anybody. This guy's all over the place. Oh, that feels like rain. Oh, well, I guess they'll put my um, my Metzler's tires to the test since they're sports touring tires. They're supposed to be pretty good in the rain, so we'll see how this goes. But I got my computer in my backpack too, so oh, this is a bad idea. But at least it's not cold. I also got my skeleton for my GoPro on, so it's not the waterproof one on. So hopefully everything will still work okay. I just don't like getting my leather jacket all wet. Last time we went, we had some of that calamari. It was so good. It's uh, kind of what I'm craving right now. Calamari! Sushi wouldn't be bad either today. Well, at least it's a light rain. It's not any pouring. So far, so good. The tires are holding up pretty well. And they're probably warmed up right now. This tunnel right here is where one of my buddies was in a full lean. And... A car almost sideswiped him, and I think after that day he never really wanted to ride again. I feel pretty confident, even though the roads are are wet. It doesn't feel any different than when I'm normally riding on a dry road. I haven't really had to do any emergency braking, so we will see. Like clear skies over there. Bastard. Stuff like that. People not paying attention. He was slowly coming into my lane. And they say 600s don't have enough power. They have more than enough power on the streets. You can. I'm in sixth gear, and I could have. If I wanted to, I could have just accelerated out of there. I just gave it a little twist of the throttle and I was out of there. You just gotta be careful on the streets. I've seen probably about three or four bikers out just on this trip alone here heading this way so we're all got caught in the rain so I think they weren't expecting it either. The only thing I'm worried about is my laptop and the, my backpack. It should be alright. It's a National Guard backpack. I don't know if we're going to catch anything interesting on the highway here. And I watched a video on YouTube, like rules to motovlogging. Don't make a motovlog on the highway, but you know what? Forget that. I'm a rebel. I don't follow stinking rules. I see the silver lining. Yeah, I got about 428 miles on these tires and 
I can say that I'm really happy and they've been pretty good. I think they are scrubbed in pretty well now. I mean, I haven't taken them to the to the edge of the tires. My chicken strips are there. They could probably feed a family of four. But I was in no rush. Wanted to break them in really well so that, you know, you get the best performance out of them. I haven't really rode in the rain that much. It's probably like my second or third time. But if I wasn't wearing this helmet, it would probably hurt when I put his head glasses on. Because in Minnesota, we aren't required to wear a helmet, but I do anyways, just because you never know what might happen. Because just imagine this rain just hitting in my face, going 70. You probably can't hear it, but when the rain drops are hitting my helmet, it just feels like, sounds like pebbles are just hitting them. Like, bat, 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 bat. My bike feels nice and warm now. All right, that's gonna be the end of my video. I don't need to show you where my girlfriend lives for y'all stalkers go find her. Cause you got them, they, them new boobies and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Appreciate you watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe, comment. Kill 612 out, even though I'm in the 651 right now. Can I get a McPick too?